brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Wow. An animatronic. Hello. <laughs> That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? She blew a fuse. Breakers. Nothing really happened. Erin's fine upstairs. Jamie just popped a fuse by accident. These things happen. Nobody panic. Flashlight. Oh. There's quite a lot of cabling here. Let us follow it. And fix the fuse box. Hello? Fuck was that? Was Mr. that Erin? Was that Erin screaming shit? Shit! I'm fucking fucked! The lady looks ten years younger, but how? <laughs> The Columbus Spa bathhouse. Manicures, day spa, facials, and more. The European health secret. Now on Lake Michigan. Due to the winter sun pool, opening hours have changed. Our hours are daily from 10 to 5. Thursday, open later. Guest request. Management. Digital lock installation. <gasps> Remember the code. 0451. Oh, 451. Oh, 451. Oh. Oh. 451. Oh. 451. Never forget that now. What was it? Will and life insurance specialist. As instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codosal. Codosal? Codisal? Has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal present representative for their records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell's handwritten signature, Jessica Maxwell Sr. You know. Pixie knows this too. That insurance, back in the day for life insurance, could be taken on by the person giving it to you. So you can insure someone for their life and then kill them and take the money. Very fucking weird. And then they realised that that was probably a mistake and they changed the way it worked. Smart guys. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Grand opening, the 17th. 2017. November the 17th. Very, very, very dodgy, dodgy, dodgy day. Lots of dodgy things happen on that day. They saw through the method of murder, yes. Right. And the creepy well, I mean, I guess they the just didn't expect people to go around murdering island. for the life insurance. Talk about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <laughs> but choices jamie make better choices i guess when they started the insurance thing and life insurance they didn't expect everyone to be greedy fucking human beings and murder each other enjoy your memorabilia dude ben at kinefinalia online auction for serial killer memorabilia shipping address printed on the posted label hj jones authentic hat authentic original hat as worn by hj Holmes in the famous photographs 24 grand taken by HHH 1896 1896 have we seen that date yet is that the date he was he was killed can't remember what the dates were the 1890s for HH Holmes let's open this shortcut 
Sport got unlocked. When we have to run. Hit the fuse box. Oh, wait a second. Uh, it's not it. Oh! One. Oh, thank God. Thank Something from this century. Ah. I've equipped the thing. Boop. 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 Really weird the way they've done the hands. <laughs> I don't know why they did the hands like that. And again, that just always reminds me of phasmophobia. Oh, four, five, one. Who do you think will die first, Kate? Kate will be the first person to die. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected. Quiet now. Quiet now. Keep the bloody noise down, you bastards! Mr. Bednab has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We've currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap could provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once you report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period in the interim. Please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement of the treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Kelly Schroeder. Oh, Kelly, Kelly. Jesse, Laura, Frank, Monica, Philip Pursue, Deborah, Annabelle, and Two. I wrote this song for you. I wrote this song for you. For you, for you. Wrote this song for you. An estimate for building work at the hotel. The hotel interior has been completely remodified. Oh, hello, Roslyn. An amendment to a will. A couple who lived in the lighthouse changed their will so that their entire estate should be left to a rich and bedknap in the event of their deaths. Very suspicious. A receipt for a hat worn by H.H. Hey hey Holmes. Demet. Spent a lot of money acquiring authentic items for the hotel. Rose is a girl like looked a lot like you to start this game. Unfortunately got murdered, but um, looked a lot like you. And Pixie started screaming, It's the fucking eyes! It's the fucking eyes, I tell you! Dear Mr. Belknap, Following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property, the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find overly for breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for the total cost. The work can commence Tuesday the 13th of January and will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimate to date to end Friday the March 24th. I read that well. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Kelly. Kapowski. Fucking ask a lot of money. Sales of various construction. $838,000 is way more than $7. In case anyone was wondering. Are we still in the demo? We're not in the de- Well, I mean... Yeah, this we did play this bit in the demo, but we... We also played the start of the game again. Well, I say again, we haven't seen the start of the game. I did this the first time, didn't I? Do, do we not have a tape? <laughs> we did this when we played it the first time. I'm tapping it. Okay. 
tapping and hold have the same outcome. I think we need something to put in there. <laughs> oh look, bottles of Heineken everywhere. Whoever lives here loves drinking piss. This is the song of my people. This is where we live now. Oh. We can walk straight through there and not do this bit. All right, chat, when we replay this tomorrow, we're walking through that door. E.T. Bone. What the? I'm going to murder everyone. walk back down. <laughs> Fuck off, Jamie. I was just... That guy at the bottom was looking at us. There's a tape. God damn it. Didn't scare me at all. Not even a tiny bit. Fuck you. Too manly. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Call Jenny Chow. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. Hey. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Mon Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. 
Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Yeah. That's, uh, it's pretty intense. How are we looking, Jamie? That actually spooked me. I don't know why that spooked me, but that spooked me. We're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. Ah! What the hell? What the f <sighs> Back to Erin. Hey. Blacked out room hey. 928, hey. October 26th. Erin, breathe. Guys, guys, please. Erin? You don't need your inhaler. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Help me, bro! I can't see a thing! The door is stuck. Break it open! Break it open. Stop buzzing. And help. What's your room number? I hurry. Charlie, where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three. Out. One, two. Three, to toast. One, two, Guys, three, toast. I, I, I can't. You can't what? Jesus. Why did that fuck me up? Who's there? Oh, God. <gasps> Someone's in here! I... I... Guys? Guys, somebody is in here. With, with me. Oh, God. Attack him! I couldn't find the red where I'm supposed to go. Erin! 
are you okay? Do you need mouth to mouth? You're safe. Did you see him? Come on. He, he was, somebody was right there, in there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He, he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is. Kate, there. shut the fuck up. No one's down. getting word to death. She hasn't done anything yet. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come All on, she's done since she's got here is look for cigarettes. What do you mean she's being overworked? Can you find my cigarettes? I can't find them. Okay, well, never mind. Jesus. Also, when I had to attack him, I have to guess which part of the body I have to attack. Doesn't ah, really make sense. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck. Wouldn't Same. You say? So do I. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? He liked it. Apparently, he's left the island. Mm. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Agreed. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is mm. full of challenges. First Raven reveal. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Maybe there's no Let's part of that. No, there will be. And not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? All right. Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh so confident and sure leader. Kate's first to go, chat. That? Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything, and now this. Kate has just got beef with everyone stand? about everything. Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> It's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> we cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. PMA. You try it sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bravo, Charles. Pretty Your mental delusions attitude. made for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know what, what do you, you okay? not say? In a horror I don't game. care what he says. I'm done. The I'm one thing you together. don't say. Hey. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Number Aaron one, I'm Ginger. Someone. Number two, okay, you're right. I'll be right back. Sorry. Dead. Just Charlie said. We're not safe here. Deaded. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Uh, sorry, just still freaked out. 
Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Are they leaving her alone after she just went through that? On a bed like a little orphan child? What the- what are they doing? Let's all split up and say be right back. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for the mat? I'm oh, not looking for I'm gonna fuck I'm these people up. For shots. One by one. Up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. Chockety chock chock to chock 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 chockety chock chock to chock 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 chockety chock chock to chock 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 Just me trotting around. Get out of my fucking way, Jamie! I'm trotting! Wait. It's changed. Was it before 178? What happened here? I... No Two idea. thing? Holy fuck, the place has been smashed to shit. Let's, let's, let's ignore the obvious one first. Oh gosh. The old hook in the chest. Could be Roadhog. Could be Pinhead. Might not be anything to be worried about. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the Met went. Groundskeeper Willie! Jamie's randomly just bending over. Oh, this is there. What happened, isn't it? Initial murder casts a lobby day. Wait, Slow what? pan through lobby drinking in the atmosphere. Go for a 360 set series of dissolves. Between key exhibit details ending on front desk, a hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. As intros go, this one's utter garbage. <laughs> I see criticism. I don't see any better suggestions. Tilt up to reveal Kate. Kate, does this sound right to you? To camera? The World's Fair Hotel. Was a hotel like no other. It's always ran red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mother's tears. The price of room came at the cost of your life. And the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murderer in American history. Transpose some imagery over these lines. FX for screams and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk and exits frames. On Kate, slow pulls back as she walks through the lobby. Kate continued. As we've already seen that bloody rain come to an end in the Philadelphia courtroom where H.H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted upon so many others. Death, and in 1895, his hotel or murder castle, as it became known, was gutted at the act of suspected arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes' infamy into history. Or so it seemed. Does our audience understand consigning? Does our crew understand consigning? Kate stops, camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. It may look like I've stepped back to those dangerous days of 1893, but I can assure you I'm safe and sound at the present day Illinois, where a team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation. In a recreation of the infamous building where noted entrepreneur H.H. H. Holmes expert Grantham de Met was. You can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victim, so without further ado, Let's step back in time and maybe see if we can't uncover a few macabre secrets that might still be lingering. Take the extraordinary opportunity to... Kate exits frame, screams! I think Erin can do this! Not sure I want Leal on my case if she has an asthma attack. Waiting for a scream. No scream, Cackbaldi. I saw something over here, right? Or am I losing my mind? There it is. Examine. No power. No power. Doors locked. I can't remember exactly what happens here. Locked. 
Another. Hey. God. I found Dumet's business card. Designer. The other one was architect, right? So many. A tape from an FA interview between Sage Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Sherman talks about the methods he used to kill his victim. Blood. Jamie. Jamie. Over here. You ain't gonna believe this. You slay. Okay. Yeah. Just I'm freaking the fuck out. It's casually walks blood. through the blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Yep. Maybe it's our dinner. That checks out. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. It's so dark. I'm scared. My eyes are drawn to the end of the corridor. Hesitant, I expect to see someone walk in the distance. We nervously advance. Left or right? We've chosen right. We can't get close enough to the doors to even check them. Right was not the right decision. Oh, a letter. Is this the FBI? Female body inspectors. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but <laughs> I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Wow. That ended abruptly. Um, I know what's coming now to this scene, and we absolutely can't do the same thing we did last time, right? Which scares me. Scares me greatly. An FBI memo in April 1998, Hector Monday was assigned to the case of a potential serial killer in Chicago. Everybody's favorite state of America. Yeah? There's a shiny thing on the floor. We somehow missed it the first time. How did this happen? <gasps> What's another one? Nine? We're so close to getting to the next part of this game. Music plays. It's delightful. Delightful music drawing us in like a moth to the flame. Oh, this place looks really nicely renovated. They've gone for the same interior design that my ex girlfriend went for. Who really took care of her home. Oh, fuck, there's two doors. We 
We went righty tighty last time, so let's go lefty loosey. Oh, it's a wank glove. And he's still wanking with the other one. Can I not pick it up and touch it? He wanked so hard all the skin came off. That's disgusting. Oh. And so it begins. Please. Help. The fuck? Help me. Oh, wait, he's wearing the yellow trench coat that we saw outside. Are you... Do anything. What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! Look! Uh-oh. What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate and... Booba. This guy is getting run through by that thing. We're going for the other option. I'm sorry, Help Obama. Join me. Men holding hands. Damn it. He's gone. What's happening? Just like magic. I do. We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Him. The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, oh boy. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hear that? The hotel's changing. What is happening? 